Hello, I am Shreya Ananda Padmanabhan from Vedanta Senior Living. We have today with us Sangeeta Chakrapani of the Together Foundation. Vedanta and the Together Foundation are developing the Together Community at Bangalore. The Together Community is a community for people with autism, their friends and family. In this video today, we will be answering some frequently asked questions about the project. Before we move on to the FAQ, let us know some background from Ms. Sangeeta about the foundation and the history of why it was started. So, Together Foundation is a registered public charitable trust and uh, we are based in Mumbai and in Bangalore. At Mumbai, we run a sheltered vocational workshop for adolescents and adults with autism and uh, we uh, provide skill training. We also provide sheltered employment and uh, we work with uh, people from different walks of life and from uh, different socio-economic uh, backgrounds. And uh, this organization began work in 2015 and today provides training in an FSSAI certified bakery, uh, data entry for financial institutions, manufacture of paper plates, manufacture of paper bags. We do labeling work for clothing companies and uh, we also uh, teach our uh, young adults uh, the art of uh, communicating uh, with their peers and uh, with their co-workers and to uh, be able to coexist with them. In Bangalore, uh, Together Foundation has partnered with uh, Vedanta Senior Living to set up the Together Community and uh, this journey began um, with my personal journey uh, both my husband CP and myself are parents to two adults with autism and in our journey of parenting we uh, realize that there is a certain um, certain stop gap that appears in the life of a person with autism when he or she is unable to continue with the academic journey and it is only when we are trying to find solutions for them to continue learning and continue growing and to continue leading a productive life. That is how we began Together Foundation to help young people with autism to forge ahead and learn to live independently. So this is how the organization has come up. So Sangeeta, why was our Together Community chosen to be in Bangalore and what is the concept behind the community? The Together Community, the concept of behind this initiative is to create an environment for uh, individuals with autism to learn to live independently yet remain in touch with their parents, um, be in touch with other sections of society, be meaningfully engaged. So it is trying to create, there is no formula for happiness. However, it is trying to create the maximum possible environment for people with autism to achieve independence, live happily and be emotionally connected with the people who are important to them. And why Bangalore is uh, because we were looking for a particular amount of space where such an environment could be created, where uh, individuals with autism will have their independent accommodation, number one. The second requirement was that parents should also have a comfortable life. They should be able to live in the same campus and in an independent accommodation and uh, number three is that it must also provide people with autism an opportunity to be connected with other people from other sections of society apart from parents and caregivers and professionals they should also have an opportunity to be connected with other people mm. so therefore we were able to after a lot of efforts and many years of efforts and trying to identify different places we zeroed in on this project in Bangalore, which is giving our adults an opportunity to achieve all these factors that I have mentioned. So uh, we have talked about how Vedanta and Together are coming for this project. Uh, most of our people watching the video would be parents of people with autism. So what is the role of parents in this community and uh, what is expected of a parent? when they are evaluating this community? The Together Community is a parent-driven community. It is parents who are going to provide the long-term sustenance of this model. So 
So there are going to be professionals, there are going to be people from different walks of life who are going to be contributing to the care of this community. But if we ask ourselves, who is going to ensure that this project sustains itself over a period of many decades and that there are people who are going to provide the long-term nurturing of this model and when one set of parents move on and there's another set of parents to take over, it is that which is going to ensure the emotional quotient of the special adults who are going to be living in this community. So parents are a very big part of the governance of the Together community. That is how it has been designed and developed. We have been asked by some parents if it's possible that uh, the adult moves in, but uh, for whatever reason, the parent is not able to move in. Uh, is this allowed? At least one of the parents, the Together community is actively inviting parents who are ready in a position to contribute to the nurturing of the special adult in their lives and who are also looking forward to a comfortable life for themselves. This model is not extending itself only to special adults. This model is also extending itself to the happiness, comfort and security of the parents of the special adults who are also going to be growing older. So if we are talking to parents who are involved and interested in continuing to be involved in the nurturing of not only their special adult, their child with autism, but also be a part of the long-term governance of the community. We've been asked if the legal guardian or a sibling can come to the community in place of the parent. What do you think about that? So, a single parent, if out of two parents, only one parent is in a position to move in, that is also something that we can work with. If both the parents are no more or if both the parents uh, have a legal guardian in place for their uh, uh, special adult, uh, that is also something that can be worked upon. However, the legal guardianship must be established and the individual must be somebody whom the special adult is familiar with. Understood. Now that you've spoken about the parents, let's move to the adults with autism. We are very clear about mentioning adults with autism. So what is the age group that we are talking about? Ideally, we are looking adults above the age of 18. However, we are also open to engaging with families, with adults who are, that is adolescents, above the age of 14 years upwards. Yeah. And when we talk about autism, which is a spectrum disorder, there are adults who will have various disabilities, various uh, their permutation and combination. So how do we evaluate who are these adults who live here and who may, we may not be able to provide this adequate care for? So the community is designed for special adults, people with special needs, primarily people with autism. However, the community is also open to providing services to adolescents and adults with other uh, disabilities. This is something where parents need to write in to us, fill in the application form and give details of the exact requirements of the special adult and the governing body as well as the medical committee of the Together community will engage with the parent, have a detailed discussion in order to understand what are the specific requirements of the adult and whether the community will be able to do justice to the requirements of the adult. As long as we are able to do justice to the requirements of the adult, it is something that we are open to. Coming to the life of the adult, will an adult be getting a separate room of his or her own? How are the accommodation uh, factors considered? Every special adult will have a studio apartment of his own, an individual room with an attached bathroom, with an attached balcony, with grills and all the safety factors in place. So every individual will get that. Okay. Yeah. Um, caregivers play a very crucial role for an adult with autism and considering that they will be living independently, uh, does an adult get one-to-one -one caregiver or what is the ratio of caregivers and what kind of care would they be expecting in the community? So every studio apartment is equipped with the provisions for an individual uh, caregiver. 
and uh, with an independent court, separate wardrobe and uh, all other uh, requirements. However, every adult with autism does not necessarily require the services of a one-to-one -one caregiver. Um, therefore, there will be group caregivers stationed on every floor where the special adults are living and um, this will be provided to all the special adults mm -hmm. and those who require individual caregiving will have the caregiver living within the mm -hmm. uh, studio apartment along with them. And the charges for the same, how are uh, the group caregivers are included in the cost? So the recurring costs of the projects that mm -hmm. have been mentioned does not take into account the cost of individual caregiving. It is inclusive of the group caregiver. Those individuals with special needs who require one-on-one -on -one caregiving, they will be charged at cost for the uh, extra charges of the one-on-one -on -one one. caregiver. The adults living inside uh, their day-to-day -day life, do they get any vocational training? How are their physical activities uh, monitored? So, what do they do on a day on a on a day at our community? So, um, the life, the daily life of the special adult will take into account multiple factors. It will take into account the fact that there will be a specific, a specific routine that will be built in and which will give them ample opportunity to uh, engage with others in the community through various tasks through which they can contribute to the community such as housekeeping, gardening, in the cafeteria, in the lunch room. It all depends on the skill set of the adult and the interest of the adult. Apart from that, there will be a sheltered vocational workshop in the community which will provide uh, skill training in specific areas mm -hmm. and in as many areas as possible which uh, will be of productive uh, use, mm -hmm. which will be meaningful engagement. And also there will be a large component of uh, physical exercise. By physical exercise, I mean things which are also restful in nature. Sitting in a garden, taking in the greenery, going for a walk, going for swimming, going for skating, cycling. And it all also depends, please let's remember that we are talking to adults with special needs and we also have to take in their personality their requirements and what they also like to do. Mm. So the, it will be something which will also be tailored to the requirements of the special adult. But there will be plenty of opportunities for them to engage. Mm. Will there be uh, uh, any facility for them to get a job in the open environment or any salary or stipend for the work they do within the community? The work that they do in the community is something that the special adults will be paid a monthly stipend for. This will be based on the production of uh, products of commercial value, on the sale of products, their punctuality and their regularity. Mm. Because it is very important that we give them a chance to be to work in a dignified work environment. We have to give them an actual work environment and give them an opportunity to understand that this is something that they are accountable for. Mm. Right, so that is a work ethic will be developed over a period of time mm -hmm. for them to actually look forward to the fact that I'm going to work, I'm contributing to the workplace. It could be a manufacturing of paper plates or it could be making something, um, you know, baking something in the bakery. It could be something complex, it could be something simple. But end of the day, a work ethic will be developed. As far as the open environment is concerned, the Together community is located at a distance of 27 kilometers mm. from the Bangalore International Airport. Mm. It all depends on how comfortable the adult is with traveling independently and traveling long distance. Mm. Right? As time goes by, the amount of time taken from the community to the airport will only increase because the traffic is going to increase. This is a reality that all of us have to be ready for. Everybody who is living in the urban environment knows the kind of pressures we all work under. So if the special adults are ready to travel and if there are safe opportunities for them mm -hmm. and parents are ready to make that contribution, it can be done. Okay. However, another thing I want to add is they also have an opportunity to contribute to the overall gated community. Mm -hmm. Please remember that there is an extended community 
where there's going to be a clubhouse, a restaurant, even the together community is going to run a small shop within the premises mm-hmm. where our special adults can contribute. So over a period of time, opportunities will only increase. In the community, there will be various services like medical, housekeeping, food, uh, security services and so on. So we'll talk a little bit in detail about each of the services. We'll start with the medical services. Can you please explain a bit about it? So there will be a primary uh, healthcare uh, center that will be uh, provided as a community, a 24 by 7 uh, facility with a doctor and a nurse on call. And uh, we, apart from this, uh, we will also have a medical committee that will uh, comprise of uh, pediatricians, adult neurologists, adult psychiatrists, who will uh, guide the together community for the requirements of the adults. As we know very well, the requirements of our adults vary from time to time, and we will need the support of uh, uh, senior and experienced uh, medical professionals this will also be taken care of uh, at the community. For the benefit of everyone, there is uh, a Sri Satya Sai Hospital, which is a 400 bed, uh, with a capacity of 400 bed within 3 kilometers from our project. So this would Correct. be a huge value addition Absolutely. to our Absolutely. Uh, uh, what kind of therapy do we offer for the adults inside? The therapy that will be available will be at the primary healthcare center through a physiotherapist. Uh, other, uh, if there are any other therapeutic requirements in terms of uh, speech or in terms of uh, any kind of uh, uh, specific occupational therapy or uh, anything else for that matter, it will have to be provided on a one-to-one basis for specific individuals because uh, that is not something that can be uh, provided for on a generalized basis at the community considering the distance at which we are uh, located from the city and we also have to make the model economically viable for uh, parents and for other individuals who are in the community therefore taking this into mind uh, most of the services that are provided will be those which will be of maximum relevance for maximum number of adults and families who are living in the community. And at this point we should also note that services like physiotherapy will also be extended to the parents of the adults. Absolutely, yes. The physiotherapist uh, facility will be extended to the entire community. Can we talk a little bit about the food? Um, What is the kind of food that will be served and uh, what is to whom and all it is extended within the community? The cafeteria is going to be a great meeting point between the special adults and their family members and friends and visitors who come over to the community. It's a place where people can sit down and enjoy a meal together and uh, all the meals of the day starting from your morning tea, breakfast, lunch, dinner, uh, beverages will be served and uh, all the food served in the cafeteria will be purely uh, vegetarian. And this uh, cafeteria will provide services, as I mentioned, for the special adults, for the parents, for all the staff, including caregivers, housekeeping. There are dedicated uh, uh, facilities for everyone to sit down and enjoy a meal. We often get questioned about the safety and security arrangements within the community. So I think we should say a few words about it. So the safety and security, particularly of special adults, is something which... uh, has always been a primary concern, not only for the together community, but I would say of any organization, any uh, entity that uh, seeks to serve people with special needs, considering that they are vulnerable and uh, their dignity and safety must be protected at all costs. Towards that end, the together community will ensure that uh, all the staff that works in the community, the caregivers, the housekeeping staff, the security staff, all the parents are sensitized towards uh, providing uh, a safe living environment for the special adults. There will all the common areas of the campus, including the vocational training center, the walking parts, the gardens, the cafeterias, and the studio apartments where the special adults live will be monitored by CCTV 
and parents will have access to the cctv footage at any point of time you had mentioned about housekeeping uh, what all is covered in housekeeping can you explain a bit housekeeping services will be extended by the together community to both the parents who are living in the villas as well as the special adults who are living in their own studio apartments so and uh, the housekeeping also takes into account all the common areas because let us remember there's going to be a vast green component of the campus that all of us can enjoy uh, there are going to be uh, green patches there's going to be uh, gardens there are going to be parks there's going to be a walking path so this entire uh, area including the vocational training center the cafeteria all these services uh, all the common areas will be serviced by the housekeeping team and as far as the villas are concerned the daily cleaning uh, sweeping mopping the deep cleaning which will take place uh, uh, once in a few weeks or once in a month all that will be covered under it and as well as well as the entire studio apartment complex the daily cleaning of the studio rooms will be covered under housekeeping will all be managed yes yes absolutely so uh, we have listed down a set of services so are these all compulsory to be taken by the parents or is it an option do they have an option to pick and choose what they want so vedanta senior living has entered this project as a partner and uh, will be providing the entire gamut of services both to the special adults as well as to the parents who are living in the villas so it's very important for this model to work and for it to be beneficial to all the parties concerned it is very important that there is a uniformity of services that are uh, taken up by everyone having said that uh, parents can choose to cook their own meals mm. and not eat meals in the cafeteria so that is one service for which they will not be charged otherwise all the services are common to both special adults and the parents even in this case for the special adults the cafeteria is has for to be. special adults eating in the cafeteria is a very crucial part of uh, learning to live independently yeah let us remember the entire model is based on helping our special adults mm. to embrace independent living and to do it happily mm. so food is a very big part of all our lives so it's very important to help our special adults mm. to accept the cafeteria enjoy the different kinds of meals that are going to be provided there and also we have to bear in mind that the cafeteria services are going to take into account some of the specific needs that our special adults may experience mm. when it comes to the texture of food mm. when it comes to the uh, nature of food that is being served the frequency of meals all this will be taken care of right. yeah uh, now there are few questions which uh, about the policy which uh, we have been asked i will just read them out one by one uh, will guests and relatives be allowed to the villa of the parents yes the we are, the together community is open and welcomes uh, guests and visitors uh, to the villas and it's also going to be a beautiful opportunity for our special adults to engage with people mm-hmm. we want people to be a part of the lives of our special adults will the parents be allowed to visit the studio apartments of the adults the studio apartment is the home of the special adult just as uh, if you and i have a home and we will be allowed to uh, call people over it is very important that the adult also gets an uh, full feeling of this is my home and this is a place where my parents can come mm-hmm. and others can come so definitely that will be allowed however there must be as in any even in as in any home or any uh, structure there is always the need for some amount of discipline so this will have to be included here as well particularly to ensure that our special adults are safe mm. so if you can imagine you have a variety of people walking in and out of the studio apartments of our adults at any given point of time then safety will become a question mark mm. so there will be certain governing principles that will be put into place only to ensure that our adults are safe and that they also have a routine a rhythm uh, something which they are comfortable with 
something which doesn't uh, surprise them or make them uncomfortable that will be built into the system and what about the other way around the adults visiting the parents in their villa definitely special adults uh, will definitely go over to the villas of the parents they will enjoy a meal with them they will stay over with them but please let's remember that we are working with people with autism autism is not an on off switch so you can't tell them that you can go over to your parents villas mm -hmm. and suddenly one fine day we say no they're going over too much they're not staying in their studio apartment so we say now you can't go now you can go only once a week so this is something that has to be built into from the beginning mm -hmm. to be fair to our special adults the whole concept is to be fair to our special adults to not bombard them with unnecessary surprises mm. to not to give something to take it back mm. you know the whole idea is to provide them an environment where they know what to expect mm. so even this will have a rhythm it will have a routine now we'll talk about the infrastructure uh, which we are going to provide in the community uh, firstly when is this project going to be ready the project is going to be ready in the first quarter of 2025 you had mentioned earlier that this is going to be a part of an exclusive campus can you explain what uh, the campus is what role is there in the vicinity of this community so it's a 35 acre community the entire area is a 35 acre property which is being developed by landmark stia now landmark stia is itself going to develop many villas and apartments for people from different walks of life within this 35 acre gated campus together community along with vedanta mm -hmm. have acquired 7 acres in this 7 acres together community is going to have an exclusive space in this exclusive space together community will have villas for parents we'll have studio apartments for our uh, special adults we'll have a sheltered workshop we'll have a cafeteria we'll have a walking park we'll have gardens we'll have a temple it will be a all inclusive community in terms of the facilities that our special adults need in order to lead a comfortable life however there are certain outstanding advantages which our special adults will enjoy number 1 is that right next door in the 7 acre property that we have purchased one part belongs to together community right next door is vedanta which is going to develop a senior citizen uh, community apart from that the special adults and the parents living in the together community will have access to the entire gated campus of landmark stia mm -hmm. they will get to use the walking tracks they will get to roam around get the open space they'll get that entire advantage they will also get to use the clubhouse the restaurant the swimming pool particularly the swimming pool is something of great significance for adults with autism it has a great therapeutic uh, uh, you know benefits the accommodation for the adults with autism are they going to be separate uh, Uh, accommodations for men and women so it's a ground floor plus three floors mm -hmm. residential block on the ground floor you're going to have dedicated studio apartments mm -hmm. for the uh, female uh, special adults the first second and uh, third floors are going to be for uh, male uh, special adults dedicated floors for the men so there will be separate dedicated floors for men and for women okay. now that you have covered about the accommodation for the adults let's talk about the accommodation for the parents uh, there will be separate villas uh, adjacent to the studio apartments for the parents uh, these would be uh, uh, in a land area of about 1200 square feet or 1500 square feet uh, there there will be individual plans which uh, the parents can choose all the details of this will be shared in a brochure when reached out to the uh, together foundation now moving on to a very important aspect of the video the financial aspects 
so the overall cost of a parent who is looking to move into this community what does it entail so the overall cost uh, consists of the outright purchase of the villa and the refundable uh, security deposit mm. for the uh, studio apartment so this entire cost is in the range approximate range of 96 lakhs to a crore mm. including a refundable deposit a part of yes, it yes, will be the, the this includes the outright purchase of the villa and the refundable deposit for the studio apartment mm. yeah this is all inclusive apart from this uh, are there any monthly recurring expenditure that a parent has to be aware of so there is a monthly recurring uh, fee mm-hmm. that is applicable to both the adults as well as the parents and this takes into account the cost of housekeeping it mm-hmm. takes into account uh, food and cafeteria services it uh, takes into account uh, safety security all the all the the primary health care uh, center the vocational training center so it, dep- it, it there are, there are separate costs for the parents monthly recurring cost and there's a separate monthly recurring cost for the adult uh, and if you exclude food mm. it amounts to around 65000 rupees a month mm. for both the adult as well as the parent excluding food and of course as i mentioned earlier it excludes the cost of the individual caregiver and the 65000 also includes the food for the adult while the food yes, for correct. the parents are excluded because yes. it's optional yes the food for the adult is correct included. correct so 65000 rupees a month mm. includes the services for the adults including including food it includes the services for the parents excluding food mm. and this cost does not include the cost of the individual caregiver can um approximately the cost of food for the parents if they were to opt for it can we say it would be around the range of 15 to 16000 rupees a month yes it would be yes uh so now that you have to purchase the villa and the studio apartment so is it an outright purchase or is there any uh payment uh, stage how does it happen once the parent makes a site visit once mm-hmm. the parent sees the brochure and is happy with our project and is happy with the services that we are offering and feels that this will meet the requirements of the special adult after this they have a detailed meeting with the together community mm-hmm. consisting of both the governing body as well as members of the vedanta team and uh, they will be taken through the payment plan mm-hmm. however as uh, you asked the villa will be purchased outright mm-hmm. and the deposit will be for the studio apartment Yes. Yeah. And during the payment schedule, the it would apply for both the outright purchase. So the con- there will be a construction linked payment Correct. schedule for both the studio apartment mm-hmm. for the adult, which is a refundable uh-huh. amount, and uh, for the purchase of the villa, villa by the parent. The parent. Yeah. Um, as a parent, do they have to have any considerations or sh- any financial provisions that they should make before considering this option? Absolutely. absolutely uh upon admission at the time of admission parents will be guided and helped to make appropriate arrangements for the lifetime security of the special adult mm-hmm. so that involves uh, creating a financial trust uh, that involves uh, putting in place a legal guardian uh, in case of the untoward uh, demise of the parents it also uh, involves uh nominating the uh the dispersal of funds mm-hmm. if the villa is sold mm-hmm. please let us remember that when the parent makes an outright purchase of the villa at some point of time there could be circumstances in which the villa has to be sold mm-hmm. so that also will have to be uh, stated at the time of admission that if and when the villa is sold Who, who does the amount go to that will that nomination will also have to be put into place yes um i think with this we have covered most of the questions that we have come across in the last few months uh what does a parent do after seeing this if they want to approach us what do they do so as i said the first step is for the parent to go through the brochure in detail because the brochure gives you all aspects of the together community how uh, different aspects of functioning are going to be handled it is a fairly detailed 
once they go through it and they are happy with what we are doing and they feel that it is appropriate for their family that's when they get in touch with us via the phone numbers mm. that have been provided in the brochure and uh, they will be uh, given an application form which they fill in once they fill in the application form then there is a meeting with the governing body there is also a meeting with the medical committee at the end of which both parent and the people who are running the community are comfortable with the entire arrangement that is going to be uh, taken up because let us remember this is a lifetime commitment for our special adults and uh, this will involve several points of interaction between um, the together community as well as the parents mm. and once this is done uh, they will also be having a site visit mm. they will be uh, going over and seeing the place and after which they will uh, get into the paperwork with the uh, vedanta and with the uh, uh, together, together foundation. foundation yes you can also get to know more about this on www.vedanta.com or call any of the numbers on the website for additional information so thank you shreya for uh, giving this opportunity for uh, explaining the entire concept of the together community and uh, this project has been born out of a passion and a commitment to serving special adults and giving our best to them and uh, we invite parents and guardians of people who you feel will benefit from this project to get in touch with us and to be a part of our small family